We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with TRK stock completing a full transition here from the rip area to the dip area in yesterday's after hours and today after the bell. And it wasn't the only stock experiencing volatility. The overall market and the spy did as well. And our spy bot at 2.20 p.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 150% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with TRK stock trying to hold support here above 22 cents and fighting to stay above 23 in the after hours. And we're gonna break it all down in today's video, what the inflow versus outflow is showing. But before we do, I wanna share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys wanna know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots, and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the homework of the day was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot at 11.10 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 200% plus within hours guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with TRK stock doing a full transition as I stated earlier in the video from the rip area up here at around 26 cents to the dip area here down towards the 23 to 24 cent area. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bone bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm gonna pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with TRK stock under a bull indicator since the 26 cent area here. And it's done a full transition, as I stated earlier in the video, from bright green bars on 42 vision to the dip area, as I call it, of white with red borders. Outflows crossed over after doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area and having a bull indicator since down here at around 24 cents. So there's been a little bit of volatility here in the last several days and weeks, but the top so far in the last jump was 27 cents. And it was a pivotal area of resistance based off the history of the chart because that's where there was multiple rejections here when it tried to bring itself back up from 25 cents up towards the 28 to 29 cent area. And it rejected since then and it's been pulling downwards. So we need to talk about what's going on here and what key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. And currently it's under a bear indicator and outflows dominating here within the 30 minute chart. Now, when you zoom out and look at this from the one hour, you could see here it got a bear indicator yesterday in the after hours. Same thing, full transition from the rip area down to the dip area, but the outflows had not crossed, right? In the previous videos, I talked about 
the one thing that was holding this up, that's why it was in this consolidation and not completely falling, was the fact that the outflows had not began. Inflows were still dominating and above the midpoint here on the one hour. Now today in the pre-market, it was trying to hold itself up after the drop in yesterday's after hours. And there you have it. The outflows crossed today and they're down here at negative 0.02 and it hit a low here of 22 cents and 51 right to be exact but just to round it down 22 cent area so something to keep in mind is that the outflows have now crossed on the one hour and if the bulls are going to have any chance of reflecting any strength into the charts these inflows need to start picking up and heading towards the midpoint now within the volatility of the 15 minute if we go ahead and zoom in we can see here on the 15 minute chart that there's been a little bit of more volatility right a bull indicator yesterday at the open got canceled bear indicator that lasted all the way till today after the open a bull indicator here near the highs of the day once those inflows crossed over and quickly it got rejected within the volatility but the outflows have not began so now there's a bear indicator here canceling out this bull indicator at around 23 cent area a chop up and down here and it's going to be crucial to watch the key levels i'm about to share with you guys going into tomorrow because if these outflows begin and follow the 30 minute follow the one hour it could start to reflect pretty quickly that weakness into the chart especially if this bear indicator stays in effect until tomorrow's trading day okay now let's go ahead and look at this from the bigger picture and talk about the key levels i would watch to the upside and to the downside right so the first thing is support right the support is 22 cents if that gets broken through the next support below that is the 20 cent area i would watch here these outflows how they react on the 30 minute and on the 15 minute do they cross back down and go further down to the downside and reflect that weakness into the charts and if 20 cents gets broken through then comes the 18 cent area so something to keep in mind and not ignore here is that the outflows are dominating on the 30 minute on the one hour and on the 15 minute it is fighting within the volatility to bring itself back up but it is under a bear indicator so something to not overlook and miss here now if these inflows can start picking up and try heading towards the midpoint and we start seeing some strength reflect into the charts well the first resistance is 25 cents guys it rejected right off of it in the pre-market today and that's where things kind of leveled off and then dropped down towards 22 and if 25 cents gets broken through the next pivotal level is the 27 cent area that we've talked about based off the rejections that we previously saw and then above that comes the 29 to 30 cent area if we reach those levels we'll have to reassess what's going on but it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to start picking up cross over the midpoint cancel out this bear indicator get a bull indicator in the process and start pushing up even further to the upside the 15 minute inflows guys and cancel out this bear indicator and go higher and start the one hour even though it doesn't cross the midpoint at least switch from red to green and start heading towards the midpoint it doesn't have to cross it just yet because this is a larger time frame but if that string starts to reflect into the charts we want those inflows to start moving with it to the upside getting closer to the midpoint to eventually see if the bulls can cross it over cancel out this bear indicator and get a bull indicator in the process so those are the key levels i would be watching to the upside and to the downside those bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and i'm going to watch these inflows versus outflows very carefully as they're back above on the 15 minute and if this 30 minute can start pushing up higher to start reflecting that strength into the charts as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money